Hey, what's up, y'all? Real quick before we get started, I just want to say thank y'all. I appreciate all of y'all. I mean, it means the world to me. I know that uh, it's been an interesting few weeks, but you know, that's part of all this. That's part of a weight loss journey. You know, it's not necessarily leaner like this. You know, there's some dips and ups and the last few weeks have definitely been kind of a, some wiggly lines, which is uh, actually not the end of the world because it's, it gives me uh, hope like at the end of this, you know, when I'm ready to just maintain whatever I come out, I'm realizing that because I haven't gained any weight the last four weeks, I know that much. I haven't lost near as much as I did the previous period, but uh, I didn't I haven't gained anything. And I've, you know, been very suboptimal. And that's like, well, if I can do that now, I can easily maintain once I get to where I want to go. So in that sense, it's a, because I'm looking for the positive and everything. I want to talk about that real quick because I kind of got lost in the whole YouTube thing with the viral squat video and the dunking thing. Because it's like everyone's on Instagram is expecting me to, you know, everything's about dunking. So anything that's not to do with dunking, it's like, what the fuck, you know. But so it's been an arc. It was that calf injury came in an interesting period. And uh, <clears throat> but the point is, is that. And I feel like I've been kind of spinning my wheels a little bit in the last few weeks. And I think it finally just clicked why. Because I got away from doing what I just enjoy doing, why I started all this. You know, I really enjoy the home gym. I enjoy doing a few basic movements each workout. I do, you know, I don't want to complicate things. And the gym just complicates shit for me. Like, I'm half comfy in my home gym. I'm getting really good results. I've said and I truly believe that you don't need much, you don't really need anything other than a barbell or some dumbbells to build a decent foundation, especially as a beginner. Maybe after a couple of years, you know, you need some more refined stuff and I don't know, I'll deal with that then. But I, from my experience, from what I've seen, I truly believe that, you know, you don't need much to build that foundation. And I think that's important because there's a lot of people that are 30 minutes, an hour away from a gym, you live out in the country, like I did growing up, it's real easy to make that excuse, oh, I can't go to the gym, so blah, 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 no, you body weight, or you can buy $20 dumbbells and get started, I mean, <clears throat> you know, or a $60, 100-pound barbell, I mean, shit, any, just about anyone, even my big ass, that's all I started with, and I quickly added on to that, but I mean, 100 pounds is more than enough, I think, for your average person for a good few months, six months, you know, working up to basically until you can do, you know, 15. Going with that, I'm going to be sticking to the home gym and just keeping the gym as like a, maybe like a strength tester. And you know, and I like the challenge because there's one thing, really, there's only one real thing, the gym, well, there's two things. Well, they both are actually with back. Right now, uh, deadlifts. That's really it. Deadlifts and maybe Herbie. You know, 300 plus pounds urcher squats. But do I really? But with my calf, I don't need to be doing either of those. So we're going to, we're coming back. We're getting back to the roots. We're grounding ourselves back to what we know works. And we're going to hit this next. You know, we're still going to, we're going to this in body on next, this Tuesday coming up, getting our blood drawn and all that. And we're going to blast hard again, six to eight weeks, and then do it again. So I'm going to get. The blood test and all and the in body and all that after this kind of mediocre period and then i'm going to blast hard and just work as hard as i can and then do it and then get blood tests and all that again after that after i've had a really good six or eight week period i just want to i think that'll be interesting i just wanted to talk about that because it kind of clicked you know why you know even the inside i felt a little awkward and that's because you know it's at the end of the day, you know, I was trying to rush into doing these nice, big, elaborate videos. I've been trying to stress myself out. How am I going to get to the Badlands and do all this with my fucked up car? Or I'm going to do this and that. And then, you know, and then money. I don't I don't want anything to do with I don't even want to think about money with my YouTube and all that. So I just, all this stuff, it was just, it's just, blah, blah, blah. and so I just kind of, blah, 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 just, because you don't need it. You know, all right, shoulders, 
overhead pressing a little bit, lateral raises, and then I'm, you know, rear delts, unless you're doing them like I do it on back. And I, you know, so boom, back, heavy rowing, and then biceps, barbell or dumbbell curls. And then I have an easy bar. And then I have the bands, which another thing we're gonna do today. <laughs> Got another investment. So these are some new heavy bands. We'll get into those in a second. But I got some new, I got a 100 pound band that comes with a 100 pound, a 50 pound, I think, and then I don't forget what else, but it's a good heavy set of bands that shouldn't break. Because ever since that band broke, I've been thinking about that. And then, you know, going to the gym made me realize how much I've underutilized those bands. Like all those machine shit, like 80% of them, 90% of them, I do them right there with the bands. And they actually offer a dynamic resistance that cables don't. That uh, So I don't know, it's just, do I need those big bands? No, I don't. You know, my, at the end of the day, what I promised y'all, 250 pounds recomposition. I don't even know that I'm going to call it a weight loss journey anymore. It's a recomposition because that's the, that's the focus is recomposition, not weight loss. And, uh, but, you know, that's not an excuse for, because I still believe I burned some fat and built some muscle, but it's not nearly like the 15 pounds fat loss and four and a half pounds of muscle gain that I did from March to April. This is a little different, but those similar is we're going to be going hard like that again from this next Tuesday after that till, you know, like I said, another six or eight period to another in body and blood that I'll have to pay for that one. They're only helping out with this one time, but that's fine. I'll, uh, I'll pitch in. Um, well, I'm gonna have to pay some on this one anyway, cause I think the free stuff's only a couple things and there's more things that I want, but I'll find all that out on Tuesday. But, uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying the golf. I know some of y'all definitely don't like that. It's a little different, but, you know, I mean, that's just, I love golf. I mean, maybe I'll edit it a little bit or whatever, but, you know, I really like that. It just gets me moving. And the main, I think another big focus, really going to focus on is just walking every day. Because, uh, again, I haven't done that. So, uh, I mean, I just got to call myself out of that. I've been decent on cardio, a lot better than I've been in. Um, and, uh, you know, I but definitely not doing it every day. And I feel amazing when I walk. And uh, so there's no reason why I shouldn't be walking every day. It's just you don't overcome 20 years, well, really a lifetime of being a lazy fat bastard, you don't overcome that overnight. You know, I, I'm proud of what I've done since last November. And uh, at the end of the day, that's what I focus on is like six months versus each individual month. I mean, you know, if it's, if you look if my weight loss journey was like a graph, you know, as far as like effort results, it's kind of like this. And then we had like a, you know, and then we had like a, boot, and then we had like a kind of like this and we're kind of right there. So even though, so we're right here, but we started right here. Our high was up here, you know, so we're still, you know, at the end of the day, even though it's, you know, kind of like this, it's still a steady upline slope. And that's at the end of the day, that's what matters. As far as upline slope versus progress goes, you know, obviously we want weight coming down. And uh, so I'm excited about the next moving forward. You know, it's just, uh, yeah, so there's going to be, mainly home gym stuff because that's what I enjoy doing. That's what I feel the most comfortable doing. I feel like I never think the best content I make is that. And then I liked it. And then going back to, there's a challenge. You say you can't increase your deadlifts unless you're deadlifting. Well, we're going to find out because I think that's not necessarily the case. I think that I'm going to increase my deadlift uh, over these next probably couple months yeah, so these next eight weeks, eight to ten weeks, this next eight to ten weeks, I think we increase our deadlift significantly, and we're just going to keep doing our rows. The main difference, we're going to start implementing some heavy band um, lateral or lat stuff because we haven't done, I mean, I guess bent over rows does hit your lats, but I think it's more focused on mid traps, rhomboids, all that stuff, and then the lats are more of a secondary thing. You need some more vertical pulling. Because I don't like the more upright rows like that. I like being full bent over. Uh, I can't breathe very well when I'm at like a 45 degree angle. But, uh, so yeah. 
and then you can start implementing some more deadlift and hamstring stuff. So I like the idea of doing some hamstrings on back day and then maybe even adding in some like bicep stuff on leg day because those are the two muscles that don't necessarily get hit twice. Everything else gets hit twice, chest and shoulder day, both chest and triceps and shoulders get hit multiple times a week. Quads, uh, that's another thing, you know, at some point I think I could start adding in some extra quad volume. Obviously right now with my calf, I don't need to be adding a bunch of extra leg volume. I'm ready to get going strong with my legs again though. Uh, so I was, I felt really good with that, doing those squats. I was happy, eight full sets of squats. Definitely happy with that. I think we could start uh, putting some weight on the bar. And I got a surprise for y'all actually on squat day. Yeah, may reveal it tomorrow, but definitely on squat. So we got another addition for the home gym. So we're taking that money we would be spending at the gym and we're reinvesting it in the home gym because that's just what I just love that. I love sitting five feet from where I work out. I love that seamless transition. And then it's just, it removes a lot of bullshit. And at the end of the day, it's summer, so I don't need the gym. There's plenty of basketball courts once, which I should be able to start playing a little basketball again here with my calf going the way it is. And uh, yeah, I just really, sauna is like the only thing I really see myself missing out on. But you know, that's all pay, pain in the ass just to go use a sauna for 30 minutes. So yeah, that's what, uh, that's what I'm feeling. If that, you know, if you're really excited about the gym stuff and that lets you down, I, I, there'll be stuff, more gym stuff in the future, more heavy weights. But also, right now with my calf, I have no busy doing that. So this is another way of protecting myself because I don't trust myself to be in a gym without trying to, I'm going and deadlifting the three plates. You know what I mean? Am I really ready to handle three plates? I don't know. Probably not. Because I mean, watching my push-up video yesterday, with me sitting, I see that damn dent too. I mean, there's no pain. There's no nothing. But, you know, I mean, it's, doesn't, it doesn't change the fact that I'm sitting there. And my calf's got like a dent in it. So something happened. But uh Yeah, I think that's uh, about that. Let's uh get going. Body curls. I have no idea what those were. Whew. Those felt interesting. Whew. Ironically, feeling those in my calves. I like that. We'll do one more set of those. Basically, trying to do like a kettlebell swing, but without a without hip hinging as much. So kind of like trying to keep it straight and then lift them with my back. I think for these ones I want more of a narrow stance. <clears throat> yeah. So I'm trying to target lower back and hamstrings with this.
might just keep going with these. Whew! Those are kicking my ass. For my hand, glutes, hamstrings, calf. All that feels tight. I'll take it. I'm also using a little back. So it's like a nice little leg pre exhaustion with a little bit of back. I'm sure there's a name for that. I, I don't know. I just did that on a whim. I've never seen that or done those before. Just felt right in the moment. So I'm going to keep doing it. Because I like that. Just come way up here. Going deep. My muscles are really having to catch that weight. Because when that weight gets to the bottom of that pendulum and ready to come back, that's a lot of force. My muscles are catching and then, you know, exerting their pressure to change direction. You know, this is only a 50 pound bell, but at the bottom of that, I don't know how much that force is two, three, four times as, as much. <clears throat> no, maybe twice as much. base our main movement I'm liking how those are feeling great cardio work too let's go we all this sweat equity oh yeah that's what we're gonna do we keep doing these and then tomorrow we'll do upright rows and your main back movement because I'm starting to feel it and this is hitting from like here this whole lower back area, especially the glutes, hamstrings, and my calf. That's another reason, is I'm feeling it tension in my calf, which is good. Anything that's working my calf, you know, I want to go after it. First, let's go, let's just try the 90 and the 70. We'll see how that feels. Yeah. 
There's some wax for you. That's the most I've felt my lats in any workout. Oh, hell yeah. W. Now, I'm also not taking near as much rest with this, but this is hitting my lats better than anything I've done. I've neglected the bands, and that's, that is being rectified. This feels good. I like this. My eyes closed <sighs> and the head down. good. Could also use this for some banded pullovers. Not gonna mess with that today because this feels so good. I don't need to do nothing else for lats. Also, honestly I could even buy some more bands because even that set was only like 25 bucks I think for a more expensive one and do deadlifts. Just stand on two areas of the bands and just do deadlifts with it. I probably could get about 300 pounds of that. I think that bar was weighted for 200 pounds, which means I'm sure it can handle three. But <clears throat> all that shouldn't be necessary because I'm can I'm gonna be able to put over 200 pounds on that bar, which I was gonna do today, but I'll just do it next week because those crazy power, whatever they were, kettlebell swings felt amazing. So. I really liked how they hit my glutes, hamstrings, calves, and my lower back, lower mid back. curls.
First time where my mid, back, and lats are really lit up because my rows I think are upper, middle to upper back, and then the body curls and stuff very low back. My lats, the middle part is the part that's been neglected, but that targeted it so beautiful. And now this is the whole upright rows. Man, I know some people don't like them, but I really like them. I haven't done them in a while. Oh, yeah. That's a nice superset. Wow. Wow. Maybe I should have shaved these upright rows for tomorrow for shoulders. I always forget. I'm supposed to do them on back day or shoulder day. <sighs> Whatever. I guess it doesn't matter because I do back and shoulders back to back anyway. So we one more of these and we'll finish off our biceps. This is a nice little superset to kick it off. I really like this. I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you want forearms, just don't use straps. That's all you need to do for forearms. You don't need to do a forearm curl in your life. Just do your back shit without straps. You'll be good. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's good for the back. Now I just do a few more sets of curls. Whew. All right, I'm gonna try and do some 21s. I don't know, I'm kind of worn out. Try. Of course, I'm gonna do some damn twenty ones. She try. Huh? Bros, my forearms and biceps feel like they're about to explode. They're so swollen. No joke. Literally, it's like, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Not even two. I'm only about a minute and a half at most rest. Look at that back. You see that crease and those massive traps? That is crazy. I don't know if you can see that with my shirt all sweaty, but I sure can. That looks badass, dude. Those are some big-ass traps starting to peek through. <laughs> there you go. Let the back and body out of the way. Great workout. I'm going to try and I'm going to take a shower and wind down. Have to give me some sleep before work. I'll see y'all for shoulders. <sighs> 